you to follow a developing story right now in East Hartford. Two men were shot and killed overnight. Police describe it as a targeted home invasion. They say the person who lived there tells them he shot the two men when they came into the home. News 8's Kent Pierce has the latest on that investigation. Police say the man who lives at 87 Graham Road told them that two men forced their way into his home last night, so he shot and killed them. Neighbors heard the gunfire all up and down Graham Road. Well, last night we was watching TV in the bathroom upstairs, and we, we heard about three or four gunshots about 11.30. Then we came out downstairs, and the police arrived real quick. Police found two men badly hurt. They were rushed to the hospital and later pronounced dead. Police officials say the man who lives at number 87 told them those two men forced their way into his house and he shot them. Police say the gun was registered. They also say this does not look like a random home invasion. One landlord calls this a quiet area. This is usually uncharacteristic of this neighborhood. It's very peaceful. I have a lot of good relationships with a lot of the, the people who live here. But many neighbors were not surprised to hear about trouble at number 87. Everybody's nice and quiet in, in this neighborhood, but that house right there, there was people in and out, all kind of, I don't know what's going on. As a matter of fact, that house, Police always go there all the time, so you look at the uh, problem there all the time. Police would not comment about any disturbances in the past. After waiting all morning for a warrant, investigators were able to start gathering evidence on the property. So far, the man who lives there is still cooperating with police and is not facing any charges. It does seem to be an isolated incident, so I would advise the public at this time that there does not seem to be at this time any, any cause for alarm or panic and uh, we're investigating and hopefully we can get some answers uh, sooner than later. An isolated incident because there was some kind of connection prior to last night between the man who lives at 87 and the two men who forced their way inside. It should be easier for police to figure that out once the state medical examiner provides a formal identification of the two dead men. In East Hartford, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.